There are many milestones that define adulthood, moving out of your parents' home, getting a job, starting a family. But the highest ranking milestone among Americans today is getting an education. More than 60 percent of those over 18 say finishing school is extremely important to becoming an adult. Getting education is your way to best be able to put yourself in a prime position to get a job that you want as opposed to maybe past generations where it was like, oh, high school education is good enough. Millennials are the most educated generation in American history, but they also have more debt than ever before. In 1989, 17 percent of young families had student debt. By 2013, that number had ballooned to 41 percent. It's just this big weight looming over your head, I think, and it, it just adds a whole lot of stress to you know, like there's a whole list of things of do you graduate to find a job, to find a place to live. It's no surprise many millennials, one in three, live at home with their parents. Marrying and having children also ranks lower among their priorities, with many delaying it until their 30s and 40s. Maybe there's a less of an emphasis on family and those kinds of responsibilities in our age. There's more of um, a focus on working on yourself. David Grasso, who works for a millennial advocacy group, says the changes among younger generations are both cultural and economic. A lot of us are more skeptical about marriage and about settling down, but additionally, it's hard for us to settle down. Real estate is much more expensive, education is much more expensive than it used to be, and good quality jobs, despite what the unemployment rate says, are not really readily available to most millennials. Millennials have been accused of being spoiled and entitled, but experts point out they came of age at a time when America faced its biggest economic challenge since the Great Depression, making many of the milestones taken for granted by generations past out of reach for some. Karina Huber, CGTN, New York.